What's up YouTube? This is Paid here and welcome to my new let's play of Pokemon Liquid Crystal which is basically as you can see from the intro it's a hack of uh, Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green I think it's just from Fire Red but uh, that's besides the point uh, they haven't apparently changed the uh, intro but they have customized the uh, title screen which gotta say looks pretty awesome has a uh, Suicune there and a uh, pretty awesome Weir in the background but uh, basically I just finished uh, recording a couple of let's plays for my channel so uh, that leaves room for something new and uh, since I'm kind of feeling the Pokemon fever right now since uh, Nintendo announced the awesome news of uh, Pokemon Black and Y2 that got me really excited and uh, I figured hey I guess I could do a Pokemon Let's Play. It has been uh, quite some time. I did do Pokemon Black and White, a Let's Play of, uh, well, just from the white version. But uh, I did that uh, quite some time ago, and uh, I figured it's about time to do a new Pokemon Let's Play. So, I really hope you guys are excited as well, and without further ado, let's get started. Boom. Alright, what is going on? Controls. Okay, blah -de blah -de blah nobody cares. And there's gonna be a little introduction over here. Uh, welcome to Pokemon Liquid Crystal by Lincoln Zelda and Sinister Saiku. Uh, okay, I hope you guys blah blah blah. Rate comments up and later, guys. Uh, this is Beta 3.1, which is a 99% complete remake of Pokemon Crystal version for the Game Boy Advance. Okay, 99%, that's good enough for me. And now onto the credits, okay, those guys are awesome, they are the guys who uh, worked on this game, so credits for them indeed deserved, well deserved. And this game is a remake of Pokemon Crystal, which has uh, Johto, Kanto, and Valencia Island completed. That is something that I'm really looking forward to, a new place, whole new place. Um, not really sure how much they have actually... Uh, change the um, actual storyline of this game. I've heard that there are some, so at least some minor changes, but um, I I would rather keep this game spoiler free. Uh, although I, you know, do think it's mostly just, you know, as, you know, it was, as it's pointed right here, it's a remake of Crystal, so uh, I guess it's gonna be following the original storyline, but minor tweaks here and there, I guess there might be. But, uh, enjoy the game and uh, leave the rest to Professor Oak. Okay. Good old Professor Oak. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. And I'll totally need to change the attack uh, speed whenever I get the chance to do so. But uh, we'll go with, with this for now. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. Some people play with Pokemon, some people battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many Pokemon- oh, mysteries to solve. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon! Boom! But first, tell me a little about yourself. Are you a boy, or are you a girl? That's how it usually goes. Yes, alright. Would be kind of cool if you could see uh, the actual characters at the screen, but um, I guess not. But I'm a boy. I'm a man. Let's begin with your name. What is it? And it is, of course, Spade. There we go. Oh. And there. All right. Finished. Right. So your name is Spade. Yes. Spade. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story, full of memories and tough challenges, is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! And, uh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, wait, that was the wrong game. But, here we go. We dive right into the Pokemon world. Dot, 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 dot. <sighs> Oh, 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 you woke me up. Uh, check the clock for me. Oh, what time is it? So it's Tuesday day. Yes, one o'clock. So it's Tuesday day again. One o'clock. How many minutes? Whoa, 52 minutes. Yes. 
Yay, the clock is actually working because I had to tweak it in order to make it work. Because I was thinking there might be some time-based events uh, that may need the clock. And you know, it's cool to have night and day. Although I'm not really sure if they have it actually in this hack. I'm kind of hoping that they do. But I figured I would I could uh, tweak the lock and uh, clock and it actually worked. Yikes! I was left. Oh, and I over rambled pretty much right there. Oh, anyways, play the nest. Oh yes, and now 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 that I remember, let's go and go to options, and then let's put that to fast, and uh, everything else is pretty much fine. Let's check the uh, PC first though. Uh huh. Item storage. Um. Withdraw. Yes, there is a good old potion here. Like in many other Pokemon games, there is a extra potion which you can get from there. And there's a is that the town map? Yes. All right. And what do we have here? What is this here? I don't think this one was on the original game. So does this take you to the uh, so-called Valencia Island or something? Possibly. Cherry Grove. I guess that's the first time town we are going to go into. And the good old Slowpoke Well. Radio Tower. Lighthouse. And uh, then there's the island, Cyanwood. There's the Lugia Islands somewhere here. Here? Outskirt Island. That is probably new. Because I don't remember that being in the original game. Tin Tower with good old ho -Oh, but I think the Whirlwind Islands are somewhere here too, but there's the outskirt. And uh, what else? Mount Mortar? I wonder if there's Mac Mortar there. Ha <laughs> ha! Mahogany! I have a desk made out of mahogany! Where's the Lage of Rage? Well, you can see that, that it's here, but the map actually doesn't say anything. Huh? Oh well. And then the Dragon's End and the Blackthorn City. Anyways, I think I rambled enough with the town map, but it was good to check the place out. And there's mom. Oh, Speed, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot, your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. The Poke gear, they actually have it in this game, they hacked it in. So we're gonna get some phone numbers and such things, which is gonna be fun, and mom is gonna be calling us. Alright, bloody bloody blah, blah, that's convenient. Thank you. And let's go. Um, hello, oh, hello, okay. What? Fat person, stop running. Yo, Spade, what's good? I hear Professor Elm is, has uh, discovered some new Pokemon, alright. Okay. And that was that. Now I'm guessing you can't go here. Yeah, she's gonna stop us. Hold on, Spade. Professor Adam wants to see you. And that was that. Okay. And there's the rival guy. Hello. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? And then he's just gonna bomb us. So let's go in. Get our first Pokemon. Oh, Spade, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting a new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Spade. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at the conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently got. Yay, thanks Spade, you're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm, okay, okay. Hey, hey, listen, hey! I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He, uh, he keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that... This time, it's real. It is intriguing, but uh, we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait! Haha, why not ask the help of a 10-year-old for this job? Yes, perfect! Wait, I know! Speed, you can go, yes, I can go, I can do that. Uh, I want you to raise one of these Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Speed. 
Go on, pick one. And I will, alright. Let's check all of these. Cyndaquil. I can't even see how the sprites look like. I'm not really sure from what games are these, or are they just customized a bit. Cyndaquil, okay. And then we got Totodile, mm-hmm. And there's Chikorita. Um, I'm either going to go with mm, Cyndaquil or Totodile. Um, but Totodile, I could call him Totodile. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Besides, I've usually always gone with the water type. It's kind of been a tradition for me. So I'm gonna go with the good old Totodile. Uh, let's go. Yes. The Pokemon is quite energetic. Yay, Totodile. Thank you. Do you want to give a nickname? Yes. We are going to g g call him Vile. Because Vile called one of his pokes. He named it after me. Hariyama. Which is pretty cool. In his most recent Pokemon playthrough. Uh, so he's gonna be Vile. He's gonna be Totodile. Hmm, I'm watching you, Elm. Mr. Question Mark Person. Who the hell was that? Oh no, they had the H word in a Pokemon game. Even though it's a hack, but still. Anywho, Mr. Pokemon lives. Alright, Cherry Grove, I know. You can miss it. You can heal with that. Alright, you can use it anytime. Phone number, thank you. Yay, happy music. So let's keep going. Oh wait, what do you want? Uh, I want you to have uh, this for your errand. A potion. Now I got two. Awesome. Let's keep moving. Let's see. Oh, it's like snowing or something. Are you going to say anything new? Uh, nothing. Okay. Let's keep going and then go to the tall grass. Hey, is this the Rattata person? Pokemon hide in the grass, blah blah blah. Okay. Not that I would have really liked to see the tutorial, but um, I was just wondering. And our first wild Pokemon is going to be a Hoot Hoot. Level 3. Awesome. Let's give him a scratch in the back. Growl. And I guess I could just beat this up. Like, why not? Like, who cares about me messing up with a Hoot Hoot too much? There we go. And it's like snowing again. Which is pretty interesting. I must say. And more Hoot, hoot Hoots. But I kind of want to just uh, grind up a little bit at least and then I'll have to find out find out and see what uh, Pokemon am I going to capture but uh, I don't think there's like any two interesting Pokemon in here right now so I don't really care there's a Pidgey and a Hoot Hoot so far and I'm thinking that Rattata too and that's just oh what do I have Oranberry oh, okay I had two potions too but I guess that works Let's grind up a bit more. Ooh, a PG level four. That's gonna. That's definitely gonna. Ah, critical hit. But I'm faster, so I can kill you off or knock you out. But I'm gonna get a level up from here. Oh, yes, level seven. Sweet. Uh, plus three HP. And learned rage. Haha. <laughs> While is going to rage. <laughs> What a suitable first move to learn. Also, what I wanted to check out, what is the nature of our Totowile? Hasty nature. Uh, um, I think that's like plus speed and then minus defense. So it's like kind of meh. Well, at least you can see, well, yeah. Defense is the lowest stat, so it would make sense for it to be minus defense. I don't remember, but I think that's what it is, and it kind of does look like so too. But um, at least it's not like minus attack or anything, so it's good. And I like the snowing effect here. And there's a Sentret. Yeah, level 4. Ooh. Let's scratch him once. Uh, let's give a potion. Why not? Like it's... Not that it really matters if I'm gonna, oh no, if I'm gonna waste my potions. Where well, there we go. Get rid of that. And now let's get go ahead. Let's talk to her. Do you have anything? Uh, oh, Tuscany of Snowflakes. Shut up, Snowflake! By the introduction, please. Silk Scarf? Hey, 
Hey! That's actually pretty decent. Because it boosts the um, power of uh, normal type moves, I think. Yes, and... Uh, no, I can give it. There we go. That is what I meant. And I have Scratch. So Scratch is going to get a little boost. I think it's like 20% or something. But, you know, definitely useful. So let's go ahead and uh, knock this guy out. Yeah, the power of the Silk Scarf! Now let's see, what do you have to say? Uh-huh, I wanted to break, okay. And save, alright. We could also take a break pretty soon. And uh, let this be the first episode. Ooh, it's snowing even more here. Let's see what we got here. Mm hmm? Ooh, a Fampy! That's actually... Oh wait, do I have any Pokeballs? It started to hail! Wow! Um... I don't have any Pokeballs. Professor Elm didn't give me any. Fampy is something that I could possibly catch. I don't know. I don't know. But then again, wow, that did like squat. Well, Fampy does have good defense because it evolves into a... While, let's go, let's go to rage mode. Rage while, you can do it. Ar. Wild's rage is building. No, but he keeps growling, and the hail is strike. Uh, yay, a critical hit. I took him out. Would it be nice to possibly catch it? But then again, I don't know what I'm going to. What would I call Fampy? Because I'm thinking what I will do with Pokemon nicknames. I'm just gonna call them after my friends here on YouTube, like I have while here. Plus two attack, plus zero to speed, even though it's hasty nature. So is hasty something else than plus speed minus defense? I don't know. Whatever. It's in-game, so it's not too big of a deal. But, um, yes, uh, what I'm going to do is just end things here for now, uh, since I've been going on for quite some time already, and, uh, you know, I'm just gonna let this be the first episode, so I really hope you guys uh, did enjoy the first part. Um, probably what I'm going to do in the future is that um, I'm going to do longer uh, uh, recording sessions like I usually do with my other Let's Plays and then just cut them into shorter parts, possibly from 10 to 15 minutes, something like that. Uh, tell me what you think about that. That is how I've been usually rolling with my Let's Plays, so I think I'm, I will do it regardless. Um, but... Um, this will be all for the first episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you did. I would really appreciate it on this new new Let's Play on the first part. But uh, this will I will just end up rambling for way too long if I keep this up. So I'm going to end things here. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace.